guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to talk about the seat on my Mongoose bike. And for me, it's just a little bit too uh, too hard and on longer rides, it's just been uncomfortable. And so, um, you know, I knew that I was gonna have to replace it with either like a, a new gel seat, um, you know, potentially, or a seat cover, like a gel seat pad, if I could find something that would work. So. I did some looking around. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money because I already spent a fair amount of money on the bike. And so I didn't want to spend a whole lot more money, but I wanted to make sure that I was going to get something that was comfortable um, and allowed me to take longer rides and, you know, be comfortable while I was riding the bike. So let me show you the gel seat cover that I found. Okay, here's the gel seat pad and it's made by this company Blackburn and I got this at Walmart. It was the least expensive gel seat pad and I wanted to try this first because I've already invested a lot of money into the Mongoose mountain bike. So I want a comfortable ride, but I also didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money. So I wanted to give this one a try first and I've been using it for a little while now. I held onto the packaging just in case I was going to need to return it, but this seat cushion has been awesome. I'm very happy with it and it's worked really well. Let me show you how it fits onto my Mongoose mountain bike. Okay, so here's what the gel seat pad looks like on my Mongoose mountain bike seat. And it has this adjustable drawstring here, which you can just tighten up uh, to get the gel seat pad to stay in place. And I've noticed after riding it, you know, for the most part, the gel seat pad does stay in place. Every once in a while, it slips a little. But they have this incredibly long string here, and you don't want this dangling down and getting caught up in your, you know, wheel or in your chain or anything like that. So what I do is I'm going to take this, and there's a couple bars underneath the seat, and we're going to wrap it around those bars, and then once it is... Let's see here. There we go. Once we get it, most of the slack taken up, um, we'll tie it off. That way it's not dangling down there. Okay. There it's through one of the bars. And we'll get it through the next one here. And give me a second. Um, I'll go ahead and finish this up and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so here's what it looks like, uh, what I did, and I just wrapped the string around these two bars underneath the seat here, and then I tied it into a double knot bow tie. That way it's not dangling down around my tire or my chain. I don't want it to get caught up in any of that. That could be dangerous. Um, and, you know, I didn't want to cut the string either, so this is just what I decided to do. Okay guys, well there it was, the Blackburn Gel Seat Pad, and this was the least expensive option at Walmart, and it's one that I wanted to try. I wasn't sure if I was going to get a whole new like gel seat or what I was going to do, but this is the option I wanted to try first since it was the least expensive and just see how well it worked. And for me, it's worked great. It's made the longer rides more comfortable and I'm very happy with it. So I hope you guys have liked this video and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.